tonight. Join Ed Cavalier, Jane Kennedy, Mick Malloy, Troy Kinney and Sam Pang as we test their knowledge of the week's events on Have You Been Paying Attention? And now, here's your host, Tom Greiser. Games. And congratulations to the Australian team. Over 130 medals, four world records and just the one assault charge. So I think <laughs> a job well done. Tonight we look back on events of the last seven days and to help us we have five serious news watchers in anchor position. Triple M Brisbane breakfast host Ed Cavalier. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Our very own golden girl Jane Kennedy. <laughs> From Triple M Melbourne Breakfast, although it's often closer to lunch by the time he makes it into the studio, Mick Malloy. Making his series return, star of the hit TV series Kinney, which means if they ever sack you, they've got to change the name. Please welcome <laughs> Troy Kinney. And finally, a man still dreaming of his first ever win. Mr Sam Pang, ladies and gentlemen. You back and uh, congratulations on the series on, on Seven Mate Sketch Comedy. We Thank didn't you. see a lot of it on Australian TV. Nice yeah. to be back. How did you convince the, uh, the network to make the show? Basically, up until we pressed record on the cameras, they were under the impression it was going to be a cooking show. So, okay. don't worry. <laughs> Straight through. As long as someone gets voted out at the end, we're all good. Absolutely. Well, for those who haven't, uh, haven't had the chance, here's a little taste. Life at home with an airline baggage handler. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh, I'll get that, babe. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Nice to see Skip Comedy back on the TV. Not the, uh, not the only person making their return to TV this week. Uh, Ed, you pointed out to me in the TV guide uh, at the special time oh. of 4.55. Look, Tom, sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? <laughs> and I am proud to announce here that the champagne lead balloon that was ADBC, a... <laughs> The only show was a quiz show on SBS about what? history. I mean, already we're pumped up for it, but <laughs> it was cancelled twice, mainly. <laughs> but I was up because I was doing breakfast radio, and at 4:55 at the special AM, at the special bite-sized edition of Five Minutes, <laughs> I am proud to say it's back. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, what? first a couple of things. <laughs> One is. Coming from the host of TV Burp, that's really nice. <laughs> but, but two, the Korean news at five o'clock are wrapped with their new leader. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. Exactly. It's Thank excellent you. news for Australian television all around. Wonderful but time. we have to make some of our own this evening. Right. Hands on buzzers, let's get this quiz underway. <clears throat> the Gaza ceasefire collapsed after Israel accused Hamas of doing what? Ed. Uh, kidnapping a soldier, Tom. The Commonwealth Games wrapped up this morning. With what song did the closing ceremony finish? Ed. Ooh, the Angels won. Am I ever going to see your face again? Would have been <laughs> 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 the, 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 the Queen led them in the response. <laughs> it was, well, no. it's a traditional... Bay City Rollers? <laughs> Not Bay City Rollers, Ed. Uh, the, the, you know, old acquaintances, that one. Come on, mate. Would you be... Old Lang Syne. Old Lang Syne. Well, do I... Who's... Do, who do I give a point? Old Lang... No way. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what was it? Old Lang Syne. Old Lang Syne. This is real. I am old, eh? Oh, I'll give you five points to Ed, Jane and Sam. I shouldn't have done it, but OK. Thank you. Prime Minister Tony Abbott had this warning for Australians overseas. Don't do it. It is a serious crime. And if you come back to Australia, you will be arrested. Don't do what? Troy. I think he was warning Sally Pearson not to bring a silver medal home. Yeah. <laughs> warning heeded. Uh, Ed. Uh, don't go and join fundamentalists and go and fight for Commit them. Acts of terrorism, oh, Ed, yeah, quite correct. Yeah. What are Tony Abbott and Joe Hockey doing here? <laughs> Jane. Community <laughs> service? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they've got some uh, braces on Mickey. They're trying out their own work for the doll skirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, it's good. Sam. They are uh, digging an unmarked grave, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? There 
in fact turning a sod on a new road in Campbelltown in New South Wales. Oh. Good on them. Under the proposed work for the Dole scheme, job seekers will have to do what 40 times a month? <laughs> Troy. Return to Auckland. <laughs> Uh, I've been floated, but this is more specifically it. Troy, that's a terrible thing to say <laughs> about our unemployed brothers and sisters. Indeed it is. They have to apply for 40 jobs a month, Tom, which that's is true. incidentally how Sam got on this show. There was. <laughs> Julia Gillard appeared this week to launch what? Jane. I think it was Greg Combe's book, Autobiography. It was indeed, Jane. Mm. Karen Reed, by the way. It is. I'm up to page 200. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what's, it, uh, what's it called? Sorry? What's, what's it called, it? Called? It's called Greg Combe, The Twilight Saga. Because <laughs> <laughs> he really sucks. <laughs> we'll come back to that later. All right, what are we looking at here? <laughs> Sam. It's the cheapest detention centre I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly the most escape uh, worthy. Troy. It's a milk crate art pavilion, a new art space. Give me a city, Troy. What? <laughs> Give him a city. Troy, Troy, Troy. It's, a, it's Give a, him a city. Just uh, any, any Sydney. Sydney is correct. <laughs> Although... <laughs> <Ten points. laughs> Although another artist is claiming it was their idea. It should be housing a giant record collection. It should be. Made for it. Take a look at President Obama. And it doesn't have to come to this. It didn't have to come to this. It does not have to be this way. A little cryptic, what's he talking about? Jane. Oh, that's the Bieber Orlando Bloom fisticuff. Yeah, <laughs> Can anyone tell me what uh, President Obama was talking it's about? A right, it's Russia. Sanctions it's against yeah. Russia, thank you, Ed. Sarah Palin launched her online news channel this week. She describes it as news without what? Sam. Facts. <laughs> Many describe it as that. It. News without the media spin. It's news without the politically correct filter. I don't think we can pay that. Sorry, guys. Well, there's something there. Turkey's oh. deputy PM sparked an outcry by declaring that women should not do what? Shame. Menstruate. Um, <laughs> A little hard well, to I mean, police. It's an interesting point. <laughs> it is, but... Uh... Seriously, what could it be? Uh, well, you tell me. This is the I way know. the quiz works, Jane. <laughs> uh, uh, hang on, they shouldn't laugh... Oh, no, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mick, oh, I'm not boring you up. <laughs> Mick, no, no, you go. You no, go. no, please. No, 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 Laughing out loud. <laughs> Mickey, pay that, Mick. It's laugh loudly in public. Pay that, Mick. Oh, How? Wrong with that? Sorry. Honestly, what's wrong with that? I would get a. Don't get all defensive. I would I mean. get a frigging fatwa put on me. You would. <laughs> you probably already have, Jane. I probably have. <laughs> Take that. You, know what? you need to go to finishing school. That's what you need. <laughs> Let me ask you this. How did the women of Turkey respond to this suggestion? Oh, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Troy. Presumably how all women act in a group together. They stripped down of their undies and had a tickle fight. <laughs> after synchronising their cycle. <laughs> it's gone downhill. Sam. Oh, caveman Take now. charge, Tom. Take charge. Hold on. I'll tell you what they did, they posted thousands of photos of themselves. <laughs> you have an answer. Yes, they posted uh, thousands of, <laughs> of, 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 um, of, them. of selfies. <laughs> Smiling. Smiling. Smiling, you idiot. <laughs> Sam, even with all that help, you still got to <laughs> A Jetstar flight attendant has been reprimanded for telling passengers to do what? Jane. To fly virgin? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would, have, uh, would have caused some uh, problems. No, it was a specific uh, in, in flight announcement, Troy. It's hard to dump any drugs they had on them before they Flushed got their drugs before landing. <laughs> the flight was on the way back from where? <laughs> Sam. Tour de France. Um, <laughs> in fact, that's good. Could have been. It was the Gold Coast. It was a music festival. Which one, Mickey? Bay. It's Splendour in the Grass. I'll have to pay that, Nick Malloy. We're going to take a quick break. So much more of the week. Still to come. Well done.
we're back and it's a tight battle at the top of the leaderboard. All right, in the words of Olivia Newton-John, let's get physical. I want to hear your body talk. Body talk sounds like a Q4. <laughs> 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 Do it. We'll start with the com games, Good. why not? Mm. England and Australia topped the medal tally. Who came last? <laughs> Troy. Technically, America got zero, so let's say that. True. Is <laughs> the competing <laughs> nations. Ed. Uh, it was like Trinidad, no, Barbados. Barbados, yeah. Fiji and St. Lucia. How yes. come Jamaica's so good and Barbados are, are crap? Because they're like side by side. It's Different. like Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> Sally Pearson won gold in the 100 metre hurdles. Who did she criticise after the race? Give a spray, Sam. The former coach, Eric. Eric. <laughs> former coach, coach Eric, Eric Hollingsworth, pay that, Sam. Oh, yeah. Melissa Wu scored a perfect zero for her first dive. How do you do that? Jane. You just do a fair income bomb. A beautiful, <laughs> perfect bomb. Uh, Nick. Drown? Yes, that would <laughs> certainly uh, <laughs> see some points deducted. Uh, Troy? I think she went in feet first, didn't she? You've got it, Troy, by not oh. diving. She slipped and went into the water feet first. Take a the look. Synchro. Oh, oh, dear. She's hit the platform. Yeah. You, you know your dive's not gone well when you've seen better ones on Celebrity Splash. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put there. a positive on that. Put it in reverse with the Superman theme. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Very impressive. What do you think, Troy? Aussie weightlifter Francois Etundi was sent home. What for? Troy. He headbutted someone, another weightlifter. A Welsh opponent. It was okay. a wrestler, wasn't it? They were fighting over a, a woman. Oh, yes, yeah. Of course. Was it? They were fighting over a woman. What did you think they were yeah, fighting over? Yeah, they were over? fighting over a local woman, Susan Boyle. They both. <laughs> <laughs> they both wanted her. What is headbutting known as in Scotland? <laughs> Mickey. Foreplay. <laughs> It's the, the Glasgow kiss. <laughs> Who described the Commonwealth Games as both awesome and a bit shit? Janie. The Queen. <laughs> she's got a... Yeah, she's got to roll up and a lot of speeches. It was... Uh, it. Uh, that was Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt said both those things. We've all seen this photo. Which other royal family member crashed a Com Games selfie? Jane. Prince Harry, I believe. D, behind some New Zealand officials. He just <laughs> popped up there, isn't it? <laughs> England's cricket team had their first win of the year. Who did they beat? Ricky. Not us, Tommy. No. <laughs> It was over there. Ed. India. Which international cricket star has just signed on for Australia's Big Bash League? <laughs> Sam. It's Richie Benno, I think he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's, coming back. Tommy, he's coming back. In fact, it's KP, Kevin KP. Peterson. Oh. Take our minds back a couple of days and take a listen to this audio. It's got the legs, the distance. Over! Over! What sporting victory are we listening to there? That is the New South Wales Waratahs winning the Super Whatever Rugby for the first time in <laughs> in however long. Beating the Crusaders. I'll play that. Yeah. Jane. Have we got any more bachelor questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jane, I'm sure there's some towards the back end the of the show. 35 we've already had weren't enough. <laughs> A soccer match between Mexican teams Mineros and Necaxa made world news yes. this week. What for? <laughs> there was a goal after four seconds, don't you? Three, but Three. I'll pay that. Let's have a look. Oh. Who says soccer's boring? That's fantastic. <laughs> Mind you. I'll tell you, what, what was the final result the of that was, game? That, no other goals were scored in the match. Soccer's boring. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you arrived a couple of seconds late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time for a little bizarre behaviour. Ed, we're going to start with you. Tell me, what is going on here? Yes, Ed. Oh, I don't have to buzz. Uh, that is, oh God, that is the Swiss boy band Five Seconds of Toblerone. <laughs> <laughs> it's Swiss. If you give me one more, it's the one more horn bit. blowing, the national horn blowing. Uh, traditional Alp Horn Festival in Switzerland. I'll pay that. Thank in. Jane, take a look at this somewhat bizarre behaviour. What are we looking at there? <laughs> Yeah, that's tough. Is it anything to do with Legoland? <laughs> it should be. I'll give you a clue. It's Korea. Oh, oh that helps. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, it's Korean Family Feud. Oh, oh I'd love to pay. It's in fact robot fans at a Korean baseball oh, game. They've designed. Man, sorry, that was okay. too bizarre by half. Yeah, Mick, mm. tell me what is going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's an old uh, dating ritual. That, uh, <laughs> that is the table tennis. Oh, is that, I believe it's in the Nigerian team. Indeed, they're uh, celebrating. They won a medal. I don't know which denomination. Oh, more than enough information. A bronze, in C fact. Can I say something? Mickey. If you want to win gold at table tennis, get there early and get the good bat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard it here first. Right. All right, yeah, Troy, right. what are we looking at here? Oh, yeah. Very famous here vision. It's been around the world a bit. Oh, yeah. That was Orlando Bloom Hello. punching yeah. Justin Bieber. Yeah. Fantastic. So get this. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So he's gotten to sleep with Miranda Kerr, punch Justin Bieber. If he gets in a car, runs over the first guy that said, I bought a Jeep. That's my bucket list. <laughs> I will pay that. <laughs> Samuel, take a look and tell me what this is all about. Oh, look at the towel. Look at the shirt. Any thoughts, Sam? I was going to say a Channel 10 board meeting, but it's not. <laughs> it's, um, it is. I saw this, Tommy. That is an ancient tribe from the Amazon. Yeah. And they are kind of uh, making contact with the outside world. An isolated Brazilian tribe making contact for the very mm. first time. Final question. Oh. What was the first thing that tribe asked for? It. Uh, iPhone 3 charger. <laughs> <laughs> What's it back? Knives and axes. Time for a break. One on one is up next. to fill in a few missing links on some big news stories. Join the Dots is a segment and Sam, you can kick us off. Okay. Asylum Seekers and Brett Lee. What's the link? Asylum Seekers and Brett Lee. <laughs> they both can survive on three bowls of wheat mix a day, Tommy. Um, <laughs> no, that's, not um, uh, that's not the answer, is it? No. <laughs> We enjoyed it. He, I saw this. He signed him and Glenn McGrath actually signed some bats and were given to the immigration minister who used them in negotiations for uh, an asylum seeker deal with India. Whoa. Sam, that is extraordinary, yeah. but absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. Well done, you. All right. Thank you. Can I, can I go now? <laughs> Jane, Daniel Radcliffe, and Spider Man. Give me the connection. Yes, I, I have Comic-Con fans in my house and Daniel Radcliffe wanted to go to Comic-Con but didn't want everybody to know him so he wore a Spider-Man mask on. Yeah. So he could either dress as Harry Potter or Spider-Man, he decided he would go as <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> Jane. It, it didn't work, he's got his face showing. That's... <laughs> Jane, Apre, you... Sorry, Mick, you'll understand it. Apre, the event. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jane, <laughs> absolutely correct. Mick. Yeah. Former Speaker Peter Slipper Ooh. and some wine. Um, all right, he, this is to do with the cab charge. His, his government cars he used illegally uh, to go to a winery tour. That's all I got. <laughs> Mickey, that's all I need. Right? That's all I need. He's facing five years in jail for using taxpayer dollars. The wine will be good by then. <laughs> the wine will be good. It's going to be perfect. We'll be ready right. for him when he gets out of jail. Right? Here's what's going to happen. Next. There's an upside. Troy. Clyde the Thistle and the Gold Coast. <laughs> the, ah, the Glasgow mascot didn't even go to Glasgow. He's holidaying on the Gold Coast. Stayed in the Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, there is a specific link between the two. Uh, that's where the next game's going to be. So he's next com games oh, will be held well on the Gold Coast. Troy Kinney, ladies and gentlemen, well done. All right, Ed. <laughs> yes, mate. Giraffes and Alan from The Hangover <laughs> Three. I don't know. They both dated Lindsay Lohan. I've got no. Uh, you, they. This is a they... rather tragic tale. Oh. Oh, well, oh then... sorry. I don't think it was the tale that was the tragic no, tale. No. <laughs> Thank you, Troy. Has he died, that actor? <laughs> yeah, he was eaten by a giraffe. Oh, right. <laughs> no, Tom. He no didn't die. No idea. Really? I give, I give up. First time ever. Okay, anyone know this one? Yes. Mm. Yes, Sam. 
Those, you said tragedy, those giraffes, well, there were giraffes that uh, went under a bridge that was too uh, low, oh. which is what happened in a scene from The Hangover. The same scene oh, happened no. comically yeah. in Hangover funny, 3. Funny stuff. Yeah, they were towing the giraffes in Pretoria in South Africa. Exactly, well, Jane's reaction James, says it all. It's like, it's like an episode of The Bachelor or something like that. <laughs> It's yep. terrible. It is terrible, and what's even more terrible is Sam gets the 10 oh. points. <laughs> so, so even every, worse. every cloud has a silver lining. That's yeah. fine. Chalk outline of two giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay giraffe. time to step into the lab once more. Safety goggles at the ready. <laughs> Science. New research shows three quarters of people have what in their stomachs? Ed. Quinoa? <laughs> It's a virus, the CC asphagy virus. Scientists have found that children are reaching puberty earlier because of what? Jane. Watching Home and Away. Um, that probably does move things along. Uh, anyone follow it? In fact, it's obesity is triggering oh, early on. Yeah. How does that work? No, I don't know. It's just, it's a... I didn't think you knew. <laughs> Tommy, you just got asked a question and you had no idea of the answer. Correct. You know what it's like to be Sam now. <laughs> I do. I'm walking a mile in his shoes. Thank you, Ed. What are we looking at here? Mick. I'm not sure, but my doctor's not all that happy about it. <laughs> well, he, he, he wouldn't be. Uh -oh. He wouldn't be if that popped up on one of your slides, Sam. I've seen Outbreak, Tom. That's the Ebola virus. Indeed Ooh. it is. Don't want that. Scientists now know why dogs sniff each other's butts. Why is it? They're saying hello, aren't they? Isn't that what they do? They're... No, they're not. Troy. Some sort of chemicals where they get to know the other dog. It's sort of Troy, it's history. Troy, you it's... are on the money. They are performing chemical analysis. Just one second, Tommy. <laughs> Ooh, a taco man! <laughs> we just uh, saw the extent Troy would go for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> New research shows that New Zealand now has 34% less oh. what? Oh. You know, it, sometimes it, you, <laughs> like, you don't want an answer, you want a gag. The answer is teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I want an answer. I want a serious scientific answer. Is that too much of us, Sam? Ice. Permanent snow and ice on the Southern Alps. Thank you, oh, Sam. You're and that Tommy brings Tom. us to the end of the segment. Stick around. Rapid recall is next. We're back and heading into the final round. Just a quick reminder of what our contestants are playing for tonight. We've got the Channel 10 yes. gift basket. OK, hands on buzzers. It's rapid recall. Start the clock. As of August 1st, you can no longer do what with a credit card? Sign. It. What Day. major religious festival ended on Tuesday? Sam. Ramadan. Brisbane was covered in haze on Thursday morning, caused by what? Jane. Clive Palmer. <laughs> Controlled burning. The last surviving crew member of the Enola Gay died this week. What was the Enola Gay? Troy. Uh, the B-29 bomber. Drop the they bomb dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Yeah. Pay that. Visitors to the Louvre have encountered what pest? Jane. Happy Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you're taking this quite oh, so seriously. Rats, yeah, rats taking rats. over the gardens. Oh. The last. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People are being warned not to sleep with what under their pillows? Jane. Their, I, their phones. Their oh, phones. Oh. Whoa, the please. Please. Mm, I know. Well, then don't I don't die. want that app. No. <laughs> Australian customs officials are on the lookout for people who might be carrying what, Nick? Fruit. Fruit. Sam. A wooden crafts. <laughs> Stop. The Ebola virus. How? How are Chinese airports dealing with the threat of Ebola? Sam. Yeah, they're shooting people. No, they're not shooting people. <laughs> they are checking people's temperatures as they arrive at the airport to oh, see if anyone's wow. unusually oh, high. What has been seen in the Arctic for the first time? Waves, Tommy. Air, Certain waves. Large waves have made the Mainly from polar bears saying, get me off this bloody yeah. ice cream! <laughs> What has just become legal in Uganda? Shame. To be gay. To 
the strict anti-gay laws have been overturned. Kelly Osborne has been sued by her landlord. What for? Jane. She left her apartment in absolute disgrace. She left dog feces and urine. Please. To be she, and, she, and she doesn't even own a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Friday morning. Friday morning and the Adelaide Hills were dusted with what? Sam. Snow. The US, Britain and France have pulled their diplomats out of what country? Mick. Libya. Costa Concordia. <laughs> He's, happy He's got it right. Costa Concordia oh. Captain Scatino this week boasted that he did what? Ed. He crashed the ferry well. In an <laughs> ideal position for it to be salvaged. Well done, mate. And that brings us to the end of the show, and our winner is Ed Cavalier. Congratulations to our winner, and thank you to everyone for playing along this evening. We'll leave you tonight with another reminder of the perils of presenting live news. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice breaks his silence today, apologizing to his wife and his fans for the allegations that he attacked his wife, knocking her unconscious in a casino elevator. All right, that is not the right video. No, it's not. That's it for us. See you next week.